Hi, I'm Tom and I'm part of the marketing team here at EKM. Now today I want to talk to you about starting an e-commerce business. Now it can be a daunting task with lots of things to consider such as researching competitors, choosing an e-commerce platform and also sourcing your stock and creating your online shop. Now in this video I'm going to go over the basics of how to start an e-commerce business. Before we get into the main part of the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos that could be of importance to you and your online business. So first of all, we're going to talk about how to research your business ideas. Now before doing anything related to setting up your e-commerce online shop, you must first do your research. There could already be hundreds of businesses with your idea already set up and selling online. In some industries, this is the case. They are very saturated. But don't worry, this isn't the end of the road already. If this is the case, you'll need to identify what your USP, so unique selling point is. This could be something you would do differently to your competitors. Could you market and sell the product or service better? Could you undercut their prices or offer higher quality products? Do you have a unique selling point that they don't? Now, if you can answer these questions, then keep doing your research and plan how your online business would be one of a kind. Next, we're going to talk about online shop versus marketplaces. So if you already have a business idea, but you're not sure which way is right for you, your choices are either your own online shop or a marketplace. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, but choosing which one is right for your business will depend on a few things. So let's talk about the pros and cons of both having your own online shop versus setting up your shop on a marketplace such as eBay, Etsy or Amazon. So for marketplaces, the main reason people actually use them is to take advantage of their already established amount of traffic they receive to their sites each day. Now, Amazon recorded 579.5 million visits during November 2020. Additionally, people's trusts are already established with these well-known marketplaces. Now, this is shown with 54.25% of online shoppers going directly to Amazon rather than searching anywhere else beforehand. Now, some of the main drawbacks are the lack of ability to truly build your own brand and online presence. Now, you must conform to the platform's brand colors and the only flexibility you have is actually changing the product images and descriptions. There will also likely be multiples of the same product from competitors being advertised on the product search results page. Lastly, there is a lack of ability to advertise to your customers across social media and boost your sales with the Facebook pixel. Other insights that the marketplace doesn't share, such as bounce rates, can make it harder to understand how to improve your product and why some may not be buying it. Now, online shops in comparison, um, when you actually create your own online shop, it will not only give you the ability to reflect what products you sell, but also the opportunity to build your own brand and online presence. You also won't have competitors advertising the same products on your pages like you would have on Amazon. So having your own online shop gives you full access to your customer data, meaning you can start to collect emails for your marketing campaigns, retarget customers on social media, and so much more. Now, one way to do this, even if you don't have customers yet, is to install the Facebook pixel on your own online shop, which will allow you to later target them with advertisements on social media. Now, having your own online shop means you can also utilize tools such as Hotjar so you can see how people actually act when they visit your online shop and further improve your customer's experience. However, when you start your online shop, you are starting with zero people visiting your website. Now, this is because they don't actually know you exist. You will need to invest your time in learning SEO, so search engine optimization, as well as spending money on advertising. Luckily, Ecamm already has a lot of SEO included straight out of the box, and you can read more on how SEO friendly Ecamm is here. So next, we're gonna talk about how to find products to sell. So first of all, you could create your own products. Now, making your own products is a great way to have full control over how they look, um, from the quality to the packaging itself. 
Now, although this will definitely be more time consuming having to make your own products, it can also reduce labor costs and delivery costs. So this will allow for a greater profit margin. However, you must consider if the e-commerce business was to take off, would you be able to upscale easily? So could you hire employees with your skill and knowledge to make the product quality the same? So the next method is actually finding a supplier. You could look to source your products from a supplier. However, finding a supplier can actually be quite difficult. Um, additionally, the quality of some can be a little underwhelming. Now, the last thing you want to do is sell products to customers that they are not satisfied with. So we have a directory of officially approved suppliers to help you get the most out of your online e-commerce business. But if you do find the right supplier for you and this is the best way forward for your business, make sure to test the quality of the products before actually placing a large bulk order. Now the third method is dropshipping. So dropshipping is becoming a lot more popular due to its automated approach to fulfilling e-commerce orders. Now those looking to start an e-commerce business have more than likely looked into dropshipping before. So creating a streamlined process where orders are fulfilled automatically and it doesn't actually require you to hold any stock. There are a surprising number of advantages yet also disadvantages to dropshipping. So you can read more about it here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is actually write a business plan. Now a business plan will help you set out your business goals um, and objectives and also strategies that will set you apart from your competitors. It is important for the business plan to be smart, so specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timed. Now you probably have lots of ideas regarding your e-commerce business, so it's best to get these written down. You can then use these ideas to draft up your business plan, compare between each plan as to which will be most feasible for you. If you need more help writing a business plan and what to include in it, then you can find more information above. The next step is choosing a business name. So finding a name for your brand can be a tough choice. So you want to make sure you're truly happy with it as it will be your logo, website headers, product packaging, social media handles. So typically everywhere. Now this means it must be easy to remember too. So making long confusing names isn't the best when it comes to people trying to remember where they bought the product, if they want to return or recommend it to a friend. The next bit of advice we have for starting an online e-commerce business is creating your brand. So this is something many first time e-commerce owners actually overlook when starting their online shop. However, it is definitely one of the most important aspects for looking professional to your customers. Now, an important part of branding is being consistent. You must choose a color scheme and stick to it. Hex and RGB codes are handy for ensuring that the same exact color is used. It can make your e-commerce business distinguishable and stand out from others instantly. Now, websites such as Coolers is a good place to start when finding a color scheme. Um, or you can learn more about how to actually create a brand identity for your online shop here. So the next stage is actually setting up your online shop. So you have your business idea, undertaken some research on competitors within the industry, and now it's time to choose an e-commerce provider that will host your business, allowing you to sell your products or services online. Now research is key again. So looking at review sites to see what others are saying about the platform is also important. You can use sites such as Trustpilot and Reviews.io. Now you should also consider what type of online shop you are wanting to create and the features you will need. For example, some platforms lack features that allow you to create subscriptions um, or memberships. So therefore it's always best to try to get a demo of the platform before fully investing. Now EKM actually offers a free 14 day trial, which you can cancel at any point. Now to make it easier for you, we have actually compared the five best e-commerce platforms in the UK, which you can read more about above. So next up is actually setting up your domain. So when starting an e-commerce business, it is imperative that you attach a domain to your online shop. Otherwise, no one will ever actually find your site. So you can buy domains from a range of places, 
However, you get a free domain with Ecamm on any plan you choose. Now, it is also a good idea to secure the .com and .co.uk version of your domain. This is to stop other companies taking away traffic um, or even worse, impersonating your online shop and the products that you sell. So uploading your products. When it comes to uploading your products, you want to make sure that you have high quality images. So without these, no one would know what the product looks like. The more images you can include, then the better. So when you are uploading your products, it is best practice to include a detailed description too. So things to include should all be related to the product. The best way is to put yourself in the customer's shoes. What would you want to know about the product before buying it? It is also ideal to include a brief bullet point list so that customers with not much time can skim read and find the most important parts of the product quickly. Now, remember not to just copy um, your competitor's descriptions as this will harm your SEO efforts. Next is the important pages. So when starting your e-commerce business, it can be easy to forget some of the essential pages that you need to include on your online shop. So without pages such as the returns and refunds policy, it can put people off from ordering from your online shop. So it is actually really important to have a place where they can easily contact you as well, especially if they have a specific question about a product before wanting to buy it. Now I'm going to list some web pages that we recommend you to include when starting your e-commerce business. Now definitely the about us, a terms and conditions, privacy policy, returns and refunds policy and a contact page. Now we're going to discuss marketing your business. Unfortunately, you can't just set up an online e-commerce business and expect traffic straight away. Although improving your search engine optimization is recommended, the next two techniques we're going to speak about will actually help you market your business. So first up is social media. Now, alongside starting your e-commerce business, you should also set up your social media accounts. If possible, it is always best to try to get the same username for your social accounts as your brand name. So social media is a great way to engage with the customers. You can post behind the scenes, product discounts or launches. Not only that, but it is great for all the following reasons. So provide customer service, build brand awareness, direct traffic to your online shop, and also retarget to your audience. Now, if you need some more ideas, head over to Ecamm's blog and we have a breakdown of all the social media events that actually happen each month that you can take a part of. Next up is paid advertising. So paid advertising is a great way to market your new e-commerce business. So investing in advertising is something that many have tried, failed, and then never really bothered to try again claiming that it is a waste of time and money. However, if you don't know how to properly set up ads on platforms such as Google, um, Facebook and Instagram, it's probably best to reach out to an expert. Now, there are a lot of advantages to paid advertising, such as increasing brand awareness and getting more sales. However, if done incorrectly, you will see nothing but wasted money. You have to ensure that everything is set up correctly. Otherwise, you'll be targeting groups of people that are not the target audience for your product. Here at Ecamm, we have an in-house team of Google experts that specialize in doing this for our customers. So Google Shopping works best for an e-commerce business selling physical products. You can find out more information about our Google Shopping management service here. And that's everything for today's video. As always, don't forget to drop a like and follow our social media pages so that you never miss a new video that could benefit you and your online e-commerce business. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you.